Hello, I'm Jonathan James, and I'm here in the Lantern at Colston Hall, and I'm going to take a quick look at the second movement from Prokofiev's Classical Symphony. This symphony is the perfect parody of classicism, and in this, the second movement, you get the sense that you've stepped into a replica of a period house, and you're looking at all the furniture and all the lovely period pieces, but you know that no one actually lives there. Nobody's at home. And so there's a sense in which you're looking at the music or perhaps you're hearing the music behind glass. Everything is marked in a clipped, staccato way. And when the tune actually comes in, underneath the accompaniment here is marked without expression. So you get this almost mechanical, which feels as if you're watching perhaps a, a porcelain doll uh, dance. It's, it's a piece of ballet, really. And right at the top, sort of teetering almost on a tightrope, the first violins come in with this beautiful, sweet melody. It really is beautiful writing. The bit that I particularly look forward to in this movement is when Prokofiev brings all the ideas of this section together. And it's like taking the back off a watch and looking at all the wheels and cogs whirring together in perfect symmetry. It's exquisite writing. It comes towards the end. So you'll have that porcelain doll melody this time the violin one and on the flute. And underneath you'll get the clipped accompaniment. Sounds quite mechanical. And then a third texture is this rocking uh, motif that we've heard before. but the really beautiful part, and it's as if we've picked up that porcelain doll and we've suddenly noticed a, a very fine gilding, uh, a beautiful bit of detail, is how the oboe, just underneath the tune, has this wonderful dancing line. Put all of those four elements together and you get absolute perfection.